Hello, how are you? Welcome back. My name is Vanessa and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about what I do when people piss me off. And because you know what? It's normal. There's always going to be people that's going to piss you off. And so here are some tips that I use um, when people do piss me off and I want to get back to feeling like me and not letting that person affect me. And you know, I really just try to think to myself that I'll give you some tips in a moment, but I really just try to think to myself that that person is really doing the best that they can. And maybe they don't know any better. At the end of the day, everyone is either asking for love or giving love. And some people just do it in an unskilled manner. And I think we make quick judgments that people know better and maybe they don't and they're, or they're choosing not to know better and that's their choice. But wherever they are is perfect for them. And so just thinking that, you know, wherever they are is perfect for them allows me to take a step back and realize that we are all on this earth together and energy flows between me and you and we're not individual silos because we impact each other. It's like there is no, um, Wayne Dyer said a really funny um, example the other day, well not the other day, but I was watching one of his videos and he had said, you know, there's no designated peeing area in a pool because it's true. If you pee in one area, it goes through everything and that's kind of what happens with humans and the energy and our place on this earth and how we impact each other. And so here are some specific tips that I use in order to help me not let people piss me off or when they do piss me off, help me to get back on track. So number one, I try to see myself in them because we are not so different. Whether we were there 10 years ago, whether we haven't been there, there's always something, there's always part of us that we can see in somebody else because none of us are perfect and we are all going through our daily battles and we really don't know what the other people, what other people are going through. Second, I try to do a mini heart meditation. I send love through me and then I send love through them and I just send them love and light and kindness or happiness, whatever I feel like they need. And I envision it going through me and then also passing it through them. I also will send them a rampage of appreciation. And sometimes it helps when doing my rampage of appreciation again to remember that wherever they are is perfect for them. I can see myself in them, but I can also look at them as though I was a parent or their parent looking at them because everybody is loved by somebody. And so I send them a rampage of appreciation. Maybe they're a good daughter or son or friend or boyfriend or wife or uncle or they're great at their job or they dress well. You know, there has to be something great about them. And so I try to find that those good things in them and send them a rampage of appreciation and good thoughts and good vibes. I then will also choose how I want to feel about the situation. And making that choice, we all have that choice. We have a hundred percent choice how we react in the situation. And I really always just end it with love. I mean, we, it's easy to fight and combat with aggression, but a really neat visualization I, I heard the other day, again, from Wayne Dwight Dyer, is he said, if we hit a dandelion, all of those little white things, they just fly everywhere and they pollinate everything around. So fighting with aggression only multiplies it, but approaching with love, it really stops those patterns and stops it from progressing either within you or in somebody else. It's like when you're mad at somebody, it's like drinking poison and then hoping that it kills the other person. It really only affects us. And so all of these tips that I'm giving you are really just to help you get in the best mindset to help you get over it and move on and leave it with them because it really is their choice 
to live their way and it's your choice to live the way you want. So you're going to choose how you let other people and other things affect you. And so I hope that all of these tips help you and that they help you feel more centered and loved and loving and help you live the way that you want to live on a daily basis. And so I wish you all of the happiness in the world, sending you so much love and light and gratitude for watching my videos. Thank you so much. Like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel for continued tips on different lessons I learn and the journey of my life and um, in growing to be the person I want to be every day. Love you lots. Bye for now. <laughs>